Hello, thank you for tuning in to Candle Chat. Today I want to talk about being grateful and being thankful. It's a unique experience for everyone. Everyone is different when it comes to what they're grateful for. Some people are grateful for the huge homes that they have or the beautiful neighborhood that they live in. Other people live in different areas, but they're very, very grateful for their health. They're grateful for their families and they don't need material abundance or you know, name brand clothes or shoes and a big house and things of that nature. But for some people, they do need those things and they are grateful for it. Other people are not, um, don't need those things to be happy. So it's different for everyone. Some people are grateful for being single and having their freedom. Other people are grateful for being in a beautiful marriage and having a huge family. So it's different for everyone again. It's unique and we should never compare our lives to anyone else's, but we should always be thankful for something. I think honestly when we're thankful and we're grateful, it raises our vibration and it raises our frequency. It makes us happier, it makes us smarter and wiser. Because instead of seeing scarcity and lack, we see opportunity and we see happiness, we see blessings. It makes us feel better, it actually strengthens our immune system because our whole body and our DNA is working together harmoniously because we feel good from the mind, body, and soul. So it's really, really important to be thankful. Thankful for anything. Find things to be thankful for. Um, you know, sometimes bad things happen and sometimes horrible things happen. There are even worse than bad things happening. And that horrible experience, we feel like there's nothing to be thankful for because that bad thing is just dominating our whole life. But if we can find the lesser evil and find the things that we are grateful for, even in that time of darkness, then we can start to crawl our way out of it a little bit faster. It could be as simple as, thank God that I have friends or family, friends and family that are helping me through this time, that are there for me. Even if you don't want them to be around you constantly, you may want to spend some alone time. But the fact that people are even checking in on you, be thankful for that. You can be thankful for the fact that at least I have a, uh, my own privacy if I need to cry and, and flip out and scream because something bad is happening. But at least I have my privacy where I can do that and vent and let it out, let off steam, you know. Um, there's always something to be thankful for. So even in the worst times and the worst scenarios, you can still find something to be thankful for. And believe it or not, that will make you feel a little bit better. You know, like I said before, if you're really upset, but you have the privacy to be upset, that can make you feel a little bit better just knowing, damn, if I was in another place where I had to bottle that in and hold it in because I'm living with, let's say, 10 people and I can't just let it out because, you know, I have to compose myself a certain way because maybe there's kids around or... I'm living in someone else's home and I can't just cry when I want to cry and I have to hold it in. So if you have your own private space where you can vent and let it out, that's something to be grateful for. So no matter what you're going through, these are just all little examples. But basically, it's to find something to be grateful and thankful for. Um, regardless of your age or your gender or your religion or your culture or whatever is happening, there is something that you can be thankful for. You can be thankful for the fact that you get to go to school. Thankful for the fact that you have a roof over your head, even if you're sharing it with someone else. Thankful for the fact that you have your health and you're able to make a choice and walk out the door if you want to walk out the door and live with someone else. Or, you know, maybe if you have to work two jobs at one point in time just to you know, save so you can get a better place. Um, at least you have the opportunity, the health, and the freedom to go and do that, you know. So we can find things to be negative about and go, oh, but I have to do this and it's so hard. Or, oh, this person is so mean to me. Or, oh, you know, this happened. I don't have enough. Or, you know, oh, there's people that are wealthy that are upset, you know. Because um, they have three homes, and instead of just downsizing to maybe just having one home, 
they'll be so upset that they have to lose two homes that they don't want to do it so they'll hold on so tight and they're just so angry instead of being grateful and thankful and saying you know I'm thankful that I even have these kinds of problems because there's people that have the kind of problem where they need to have their own home so a person who's upset that they have too many homes that they can't afford and they have to get rid of one that's a nice problem to have so there's always something to be thankful for and this video basically is about reminding you that there's always something to be thankful for you can go to the beach that's free it's beautiful it's natural it's 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 part of nature the sun beaming and giving you vitamin d and energy and just uplifting your spirit with the ocean and the the wind across your face and sand beneath your feet the, just going to the beach may make you feel better or going to the park you know going jogging going bicycle riding taking a yoga class there's always something to be thankful for so no matter what is happening in your life you can make it a little bit better by finding the positive things in your life and doing the positive things to make life better and better until it's great and awesome and exciting you know so life doesn't have to be mediocre it can be as good as you want it to be but you have to see where it's good you know even if it's just a little bit see that appreciate it embrace it and expand on what you're grateful and thankful for and then things will get better so again this video is just to say I want to say thank you to the people watching I want to say thank you to all my friends and family people who have been there for me when I was sick people who have come and gone you know um, I don't hold any grudges but I'm thankful for everyone who's been in my life because they all have influenced me in some way and shaped my life in some way they all play an important role in my life so I want to say thank you to everyone who's ever been in my life you know thank you to all the relationships I've had all the friendships you know even the arguments you know, sometimes we have to be grateful that we even have people to argue with, you know, um, because if you can argue with someone, you can also make up, you can also forgive each other, and you can look back at some of the arguments you had and laugh at it, or look back and go, wow, we've really grown and we've matured and we've come a long way. So be grateful even for the hard times, be grateful for the lessons, be thankful. Be thankful that you have a life to look back on and say, wow, it was rich and it was full, and I had a lot of you know, um, great emotions that made me know I was alive. Because if you had something to cry about and you had something to laugh about, then you've lived a full life, you know. You feel. You have heart and soul. So thank you for tuning in. Please find something that you're grateful and you're thankful for. Think about it. It could be the shower, you know, that you're able to smell good and feel good. Find something that you're grateful for, the clothes on your back. The fact that you get to um, not even just have clothes, but have fashionable clothes and express yourself the way you want to express yourself by wearing the colors and the, and the fabrics and the, and the styles that you want to wear. There's always something to be thankful for, you know, from the smallest to the biggest thing. So, again, thank you for tuning in. Special word, thank you. I'm grateful to all of you. And um, continue to... To click on these videos because I'm going to bring a lot of more content that's going to be really really awesome and this was just a small sweet short and sweet clip to let you know that I'm thankful to all my viewers namaste